and uh, Elizabeth is here from Artesia Main Street. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you? Good. I do need to replace that mic cord because that sounds a lot better. I knew that when I was sitting here yesterday wiring up all the mics. Oh. And I got into this mic cord right here, and I noticed that the red and the black were hooked up but not the shield. And I'm getting some... Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad I could be your guinea pig. Yeah, so I'm going to have to redo that whole line and uh, and wire it up right. There so, you go. And the thing is, I'm the one that wired it up originally. What was I thinking? <laughs> Operator error. It's okay. <laughs> so how you doing? I'm good. I'm really good. Enjoy yeah. the rain? I did. Yeah, it was great. Kind of had the back doors open last night. Just yep. let it... Let it let us listen to it. It was great. Yeah, the lightning flashing and then the thunder. I know, yeah. All the rain and uh, um, most people think it's really, really enjoyable when you've got um, 200 foot, 250, 300, 1,000 foot lightning rods up in the sky. You get a little bit nervous about some yeah. of that. So every yeah. time I'd hear the flash boom, I'd check the radio station. Well, and there were some that got really loud but then after kind of the storm part dissipated and just we just had the kind of nice rain it was great yeah yeah i need to find out but two and a half inches is awesome mm -hmm. amount of rain for the last couple of days mm -hmm. and uh, that's that'll great. be that's great helpful i think it would be less worrisome for our firefighters with the independence day holiday coming up oh that's true fireworks. i didn't even think about that yeah no kidding I didn't say it would completely el eliminate the risk, but it'd be less worries. Right. That's true. Because people are still idiots, and they shoot bottle rockets off oh, in all I know. directions and all yeah. that. Yeah. So. I agree. <laughs> yes, exactly. So is uh, Main Street involved at all with the Independence Day stuff this weekend, or is We're that pretty not, much Chamber? That's just pretty much Chamber and other the other organizations that take part. You know, we do usually encourage everybody to come downtown on the 4th of July holiday, at least for the parade, but they've rerouted that again i think they liked having it go down eagle draw so you know and most of our businesses are closed for the holiday anyway so we just want everybody to have a fun and safe holiday and Good. go see the show so i was uh had to go to roswell the other day and as i was driving north of town i saw some work going on with the greenway yes so. yeah we're finally getting some grass planted there so that two and a half inches of rain <laughs> as you said save water bill absolutely That's yeah right. we're um we're really excited that that's um, going to be completed here very, very soon. We've, we're having to plant in sections as hot as it's been, you know, with the opposite problem that we had than what we just had the last couple of days. It's been so hot. We were concerned about getting enough water on all of the new grass seeds. So we're planting it a section at a time, starting at the northern end and working the way south. So, okay. but over the, over the next, you know, few days or week, um, we should have all that planted. I think most of the trees have survived so far. Yes. There's a few that... There's uh, a few that are that are been stragglers, so we're going to have to uproot those. And we were kind of waiting during the watering season, especially during that super hot stretch. Okay, maybe they're just stressed, and maybe they really will come back to life. And there's a few that are like, no, no, they're done. <laughs> <laughs> we gave them all that we could. So yeah. anyway, those are going to be um, taken out and replanted. Or we'll replant some some new ones here in okay. a little bit but. so where where do trees like that come from do they come from new mexico or do you get them all over all um over? no i most of the nurseries that we've used we granted we use them through a contractor so they source the trees from a nursery but um, most of them are actually from either west texas or um, other parts of new mexico not really around here um, okay so yeah so they, so they are some New Mexico trees. There are some New Mexico trees, yeah, especially the crepe myrtles and all the deciduous trees that you see. Those evergreens, the Afghans, they grow really well here, but I don't think a lot of the nurseries around here have a lot of of the size that we needed yeah. that were available. I, I learned something with the iPhone that I didn't know you could do. If you uh, take a picture of a plant... Mm -hmm. I learned this, yes, and you can kind of scroll up and it has the... Yes, if... if if the little icon, the eye icon, has stars by it, mm -hmm. then it means that the that the uh, universe, <laughs> the Siri, has Knows discovered what, what that is, and it will bring up all kinds of information. Because there used to be apps that would do that. Because I would look into it as the Main Street director. Mm -hmm. We have good files of. Here's what we want to plant here. We don't always have files of this is what was planted here. <laughs> so um, sometimes you're like, I don't know what kind of tree that is. Um, and you'd be surprised how many calls we get of what's that one, especially the ones that are 
in bloom. So the ones that I, you know, the ones that bloom, I know, Bradford pear, the crepe, myrtles, all those. But there were some that people would call and go, I'm going to have to get back to you on that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Especially this, the specific location they were asking. I have to go look at it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's really cool that now you can just snap a photo with your iPhone. And if it recognizes the tree right, or the plant, I guess, then you... Then it'll you're, bring you up all the information. Bring all the info. Of course, all the Android folks are going, oh, I've been able to do that for 10 years now, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know about that, but. Did it work as well as it does? On yeah, I <laughs> don't know. I always say. I haven't tested it yet, though, so now I need to go try it. Yeah, we tried it. We walked over to La Fonda for lunch the other day, and I was snapping pictures of the different Did plants, you? and yeah. it was it was coming up. I don't know if I saved the pictures or not. That's great. Because you mentioned crepe myrtle. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, I took a picture of a picture. So, um, and it still worked? Jessica sent us a picture of the flower, the hibiscus that her mother yes. had yes. in Roswell. And so we sent the picture to Jeffrey. Jeffrey put it up on the screen. I took a picture of the picture. And it recognized it. And it recognized it. And uh, there's the. Look at that. There's the, uh, there's the little look up button, the little leaf that comes up. Technology. And so you look it up, and there it is, right? Uh, Oop, there it is, hibiscus. Look at that! Right there, and then, uh, and then I was wa- we were walking over to uh, to the restaurant, and I took some other pictures of the plants there at front of the bank, and it was coming up and identifying um, what they were. I don't know that it works as well on um, animals and stuff. Lana was at visiting her mother who lives out at uh, Canyonstone, and she's mm-hmm. walking by the pool in like a crane. Oh, type, yeah. Big, ginormous. She thought at first it was a roadrunner because mm-hmm. it brown mm-hmm. uh, shading. Then it opened up its wings, oh, wow. and so it was hanging around the pool. And That's I'm, pretty cool. And uh, she got some pictures of that, but I didn't get any kind of thing that came up that said, yes, this the is next, the kind of... That's the next phase. <laughs> and the Google people are going, well, our, um, our Android phone will do that. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's, a, that's when I Google brown screen. <laughs> <laughs> what you have to do. So, mm-hmm. that's uh, cool. So the green, so the greenway. You're doing the work on the greenway yes, and yeah. uh, getting that done. Um, the mural projects. Have you picked an artist for the next mural? I believe they have. Okay. Um, they're finalizing the last pieces of the design, so I don't believe they're announcing that winner yet. But that process is moving forward. Plus, they're um, Harvey and Simons is the building, and they're doing a lot of exterior renovations. Okay. And so once those exterior renovations are complete, then the artist can begin. So the stucco needs to be repaired a little bit on that side, and they're adding some wainscoting on the edges of the um, with stone and things like that. So okay. once that's complete, then that new mural will go in. But we are doing some uh, mural updates. So that's exciting, okay. actually. But so potentially starting today, I don't know if it's <laughs> still happening today or not. That's TBD, right. But this week, um, Hannah Dean, who was the artist that completed our very first mural in the mural program of Tribute, is coming back down to do some touch-ups to that mural. You know, it was kind of our, our guinea pig. We mm-hmm. learned a lot from that one. So she's able to update that and bring that that brightness back. We have a different coating that we're going to use on it, things like that. Now, and this then, is the one that's across from La Fonda? Across from La Fonda, yes, on, on the absolutely. Old, uh, Brian. What was Brian Printers? Yeah, right okay. now it's LTL Storage is, mm-hmm. the, is the company that's inside. So she'll be restoring that mural over this week, and then starting in July, she'll be in the Heritage Walkway, and we'll be restoring all of the murals there in the okay. walkway. And um, one exciting thing is she's going to be adding her own original piece on the interior of the entrance wall. So when you first walk in from Main Street. You know, there's the beautiful tiles on the out exterior. It says Heritage Walkway. Mm-hmm. On the back, right now is some crumbling stucco. So the stucco yeah. is going to be repaired actually this week. Mm-hmm. And then she'll be adding her own original mural to connect those two existing walls. Okay. Um, and just restoring and, um, you know, brightening up, fixing little pieces here and there. And we'll have our new sealant um, that will seal from Wind, dirt, sun, things like that. You know, okay. All of the elements. I suppose rain, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and those uh, sealants have been added to some of the other murals? Yes, they've been, been added to all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which is yeah. the uh, the postcard. Yes, the Welcome to Artesia, the Sunflowers, mm-hmm. and the uh, Student Mural, which was um, on, which is now the Gunner Rose Boutique, uh, right across from Kith and Ken. Okay. So. So that'll be added, and then there's another mural coming. Another mural coming. Yeah, we're just, we're still going. Another student mural in the works. We just need a location. Okay. Somebody has a place that they want their student mural downtown. 
let us know. All right. Yeah. Well, that'll be uh, that'll be fun. What else is happening with the Main Streets? Right we now? are getting ready for our third Thursday, our hot okay. summer night. So That's the right. third Thursday in July, July 21st, it's coming up. So we're now accepting applications for vendors, food trucks. All the food trucks will be in the First American Bank parking lot. And um, we're still waiting to hear back from the state. But our goal is to have Main Street shut down to traffic, just like we do at Trick or Treat and for parades, things like that. Okay. So we can have vendors on the sidewalk, in the street. Our businesses will stay open late. It's from 5.30 to 7.30, July 21st. And vendors are only $10, and food trucks are 25 So we 25. encourage everybody to come out and um, participate. We're looking for face painters. If you're a musician, you want to get your name out there, anything like that, give us a call, and we'd love to have you. Because you have the first one. The first one was going to be June 15th. There were lots of, or 16th. 16th. Yeah, yeah. there were a lot of factors um, not one of, w one of which was the extreme heat. I know we called it hot summer nights, but it was a little too hot. Um, <laughs> but there were some other things, like we didn't have the street um, closure back from the state. I mean, there were lots of other factors as well, but we just decided, let's just make July and August great events. So we decided to cancel that one and okay. move forward with July and August. Okay. So, I guess yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. No. Here you go. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure I was doing something Thursday. no that's all right that's but, okay uh, yeah so the so the next one will be the july 21st july 21st yes. and uh and if folks want to sign up for that and get ready go on our website or tjmainstreet.com under featured event you'll click that icon right there for the hot summer nights and you can download an application for either food vendor or vendor okay and you can select which date so if you only can do july or maybe you can only do august but you can't do this month you're welcome to go ahead and send those in if you want to do both it's it's ten dollars per event so okay yeah. well that sounds uh Sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe yeah. there'll be a DJ or some musicians. Yeah, we'd love to have some music out perform. there. Yeah. And absolutely, yeah, just make it a fun family event, stuff for people to do downtown during the summer. Yeah, so. well, that'll, that'll be good. Oh, yeah. Here. See, you still came in on Monday, so we still have... I uh, know. I just got here for the arrival of Kith and Kin. Kith That's and exciting. Kin. That's coffee over there. Let's see what we have. We have napkins. Oh, we'll need those. I smell breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> uh, let's see. This uh, looks like um, their um, sabata, ciabatta, uh -huh, ciabatta, ciabatta uh -huh, bread with bacon, bacon and egg, bacon yummy. and egg on there. That looks pretty good. I'm Delicious. trying to find. Here's the camera right here. So there you go. We reposition things as, <laughs> as we move stuff around, and I need to. I'm not happy with where things are. Jeffrey and I are going to make some more changes here. Uh, let's see. This one is the... Um, oh, it looks like a bagel. The bagel with uh, the, uh, I'm guessing, ham and cheese and uh, or, or turkey on that. That looks pretty good right there. And uh, let's see. What do we have here? Well, there's four. Ooh. So here's number three. Full of them. And this is another uh, sabata, ciabatta. Is it ciabatta? I think that's actually, that's, you know what, that's, I think that's their green chili bagel. That's a green chili bagel. Looks yep. like a bagel. And Jeffy's already in here for the coffee. <laughs> and sausage. We're racing in here for the coffee. And yeah. sausage. So that, uh, that looks absolutely wonderful. I saw it being brought in and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pump the veins. <laughs> the patch is going crazy. <laughs> I definitely want to grab a half of one of those. Yeah. If, uh, if possible. I love their sausage. I love their bacon, too. Okay, this is the, the um, hoagie oh. bun, and this is some of their bacon and cheese and egg. I never thought to get a breakfast sandwich on a hoagie. I, I mean, yeah. I suppose you could. Looks well, good, too. Apparently, you can. Apparently, you can. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have one right here. That's right. So, And I love their bacon, too. So, uh, anyway, thanks to Rob and the crew over at Kith and Kin. This is uh, wonderful stuff. Kith and Kin is kind of like it's, it's kind of like La Fonda in that when you have visitors from out of town. That's where you go. Yeah. You know, nothing. this is nothing against the chain stores. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to go to a town, you want to enjoy. Yeah, you want to eat where the locals eat. Right? The local yeah. flavor. And so, you know, if it's lunch or dinner, we wind up, you know, mm -hmm. going over to La Fonda. If it's uh, breakfast or yep. just coffee or right. something like that, we're over Kith at Kith and Kin. That's and right. So these are wonderful looking sandwiches right here. So can't wait to see which ones we divvy well, up. If you ever need another job at Food Network, I think they'd hire you. You did a great job of I did. <laughs> videoing, the, making the people hungry. <laughs> I was in the same room as Bobby Flay one time. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now you are totally qualified. <laughs> 
I mean, it was like a, you know, 5,000 seat auditorium and he was way over there. Yeah, but we hey. Were way back here, but we were in the just same video room. video those sandwiches. You <laughs> basically know Bobby Flay, so that's all there is to it. You know, he came through town, this was years ago. He was on a search for barbecue. Okay. And he was going to go to the Dairy Queen in Carlsbad because the guy that owned it had barbecue. Okay. And so is it on his trip through, he'd heard all about it. People had suggested that that, you know, that's where he needs to go for, right. to try some uh, barbecue. So they contacted Dairy Queen Corporate and said, hey, Bobby Flay, Food Network, coming to town. It, okay with you guys if we, you know, video, do the, do the, do the feature. And the Dairy Queen Corporate said, you have barbecue on the menu? <laughs> That's, well, we, that's not on our franchise um, list. And, you know, franchises, they try to yeah. be pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. Where If you go into a Dairy Queen or a McDonald's right. or wherever, wherever you go, it's the same. And so the guys, they say, you can't do that. You, and you got to get rid of the barbecue. And he's like, well, I'm not getting rid of the barbecue. Oh, no. And so he dropped the franchise, and it's now Danny's place. Uh-huh. Okay, but yeah. all this stuff was going on, and so Bobby couldn't stop there and couldn't film there. Mm -hmm. That didn't get s squared away. So we wound up, there were some people that were running the KOA oh, campground yeah. that had barbecue like on Thursdays or whatever. Uh -huh. And so he that's where they wound up huh. uh, doing their deal. How funny. I wasn't a part of it, didn't get to meet or anything like right, that. Yeah, I just yeah. remember reading the story. But yeah. but yeah, if you go if you see Danny's place down mm -hmm. in Carlsbad, that used to be a Dairy Queen. That's interesting. Until Dairy Queen said, You can't have barbecue on your menu. Yeah. Even if it is Bobby Flay. That's right, yeah. And, uh, oh my gosh. So they had to they had to change up. Yeah. Oh, so so what else do we uh, any other exciting news we need to share? Let's see, we've got oh, we did extend our um the Veterans Day applications, so our Veterans Day Veterans Wall application. So, okay. um until um really the end of this week, we had the until the end of May, we extended them for a few more weeks to few people needed to get um, some okay. more things together. So um, go ahead and get those into us this week so that we can go ahead and get all of those collected, get them reviewed, and get the panel sent off before Veterans Day okay. in November. So they'll so. be added to the panel? To the panel this, this year. year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then it'll be two years before the panel's right. up, yep. another panel's yep. updated. That's okay. right. Yeah. Well, good. Well, you have till the end of this week, folks, if yeah, you have any questions. I know the applications are on the website. Applications are on our website, but if you have any questions or you need you know, help filling out any portion of it, you can just give me a call at 746-1117. Okay. That sounds... Uh, and if you have questions on the uh, third Thursdays as well, just give me a call. Want to be a food truck? Want to be a vendor? Yeah. Uh, if you have any kind of idea of something you want to do, just give us a call. Okay. All righty. Well, good. Are we? Have we been distracted by the food enough here? Are I we? think so, yeah. Okay. I'm in the coffee. I can't know which way to look. But. I am, uh, I'm headed over there yeah, as soon too. as I get this news going here. So, all right. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thank you. We'll be back in just a minute.